video just showing you something that happened early on. All respects to the player that was attacking me. Uh, I made a few more changes to my guild ship placement. All I did was just turn the toilets around the other way. I don't know if that makes any difference, but basically what happens is this section here is being attacked. So it's being cleared so that the bombers can go through the walls. The bombers always aim for a weak wall here, but for some strange reason the bombers got get through. So does the wish doctor. But and that's about it. The rest of the troops actually walk around, including the priestess. So it's like I think the bombers get through, and so does uh, I think the heavy gunners get through, and the legendary pirate. I think these are the only troops that actually get through. You always see the heavy gunner and the bombers are the only ones that can get through that gap there for some reason. The heavy, I don't think it's even depends on the size of their bellies or anything like that. It just the, the dynamics, even those GGs, the gunslingers actually went round as well. Even the next pieces went round as well. So that gap that opened up, you know, there is something going on there. And Jake the Snake was mentioning this, and I've not been able to completely give a good video on this but I can only show what happened here like if you look this player is one of the top players I all have all my respect honestly from my heart really truly but I just I don't understand why they, they should have easily got like a two star on me at least but anyway wishing you all well wherever you may be I thought I'd just show this anyway I just don't I can't get my head around that really I don't know what it's all about but yeah, so yeah, all all the new players that join this game, we just work on what you can see from from my perspective of of how I've got my guild ship, and try to work on placing the toilets in such a way that they're turning around the other way. Yeah, then you can apply it like that. That's how I had them. That's how I've got it. It kind of works okay for me. So give it a go. You can see where all my stuff is. It's just where it is, you know. You can see it. So just always apply. Never import. So I do have another island layout, which is for the Thunderstruck. So even that one, I think I'll turn them around. I think I'm better off. But yeah, I'm not using the Thunderstruck layout because... I don't really need to, you see, I just, because I've got different things planned. Anyway, I'll let you guys carry on. I thought I'd just show you that anyway, just the placement of the guild ship. I think that's very, very, very important. I've already showed you things about silo management, and I've already showed you about outfits management. Yeah, so the outfits is something that I'm working on. I'm working on, I'm working on just getting all the collection and getting them maxed out, because... That's what the game has offered. The game has offered these outfits, and some of them are very beneficial, especially the silver, gold, the Christmas, and the Halloween ones. Those are the ones you really need to work on. So every time Halloween comes around or Christmas comes around, make sure you've got enough gems. Or Before it was like you purchased them with gems, but then it started to come like you have to purchase them with like real money. So it's like things have changed over the years. So... Uh, End of the day, Midoki is doing a fantastic job with this game. Really, really happy with Midoki. And uh, yeah, try to just manage your outfits. Try to see which ones suit your legendary pirate more. And then use those ones that benefit the troops that you're using, you see. See, with uh, with Tinto, I'm using the mellow yellow. That's because that's just I just like the look of it. I'm using a silver outfit here for Black Bart. I'm using another silver one for Blackbeard. I'm using, uh, I would have used a silver one or, but I'm using a, I think this is a Christmas one, I'm not sure. But it gives a really good buff for the gunners and it gives a buff for the heavy gunners, which I use. So the main thing is to equip the type of outfit that benefits the troops that you're using. And anything that has a 15% or a 17% buff is more than worth having, even if it's 12%, it's all good, you know. I know others give you more percentage here, like fifteen percent, but I don't really use thieves, you see. So there's not no real point in equipping that. I use things like priestesses, you see. Twenty, 
Like, look at that. Like, increased toughness by 20% for the priestess. She needs that more than anybody else, really. She needs to stay alive. But this is for the gunners, 15, which gives uh, increased damage and increased toughness for the for the bombers, which to get through the wall. So, I really, I don't really use uh, Ching Shi much on my attacks, unless I'm really hunting someone. But it's very rare that I'm really hunting, hunting anybody, except for the leaderboard winners, the those legends, they're all legends. I have respect for every one of them. I'm just trying to just you know keep something going interesting, you know. Just 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 keep it just gives me something to work towards. Not just the outfits or levels, but it helps me to work towards just encourages me to play the game, you see. And always keep your earrings going all the time. No matter what, just keep your earrings going. Collect all the small ones, keep the long ones for the time that you're offline. And you can never go wrong. And always keep an eye on your silo, time to time. You don't have to do it every single day. Just make sure there's some open slots. So in case you get something very important from the from sailing, you've got some slots where you can put it in, you see. So that's the whole point. You just need to have some slots available for stuff that you acquire from the sea. And if you have if all your space and slots are full up, you may want to just empty a few slots so that you can you can put See, that's uncommon, see? I, but saying uncommon it doesn't mean that, you know, it's difficult to get. You can still get them all the time in some of your chests. But, because these chests here, look, I'm just stacking up on them. Then what's the point? The only good ones here is, is that one there, the majestic one, which is a legendary, and the exquisite diamond, which is important as well. I think that's for Blackbeard, I'm not sure, anyway. Yeah, that's what it is. And I've got these stacked up, because... If there is another update, whenever it does come out, I'm always really prepared. I'm preparing for the next update. So I've got to make sure I've got these EP and BP. I'm not, I've got stacks of it. You can see from my, from my stats below. I've got stacks of it. This elegant emerald hair is important. So is this exotic topaz. But the copper inga and the voodoo mask, I'm not really a fan of that at the moment. Because, but if you're a new player, like these are all brilliant, but I need that mystical opal. The reason why I need that mystical opal is because I don't have like a hundred of it. So I need to stack up on those. So so I know what I'm doing. I know what I need to do. But these EP and BP, I, I wouldn't waste my time opening them up to show it to you because I'll you know, they'll be wasting your time as well at the same time. So but these two I'm not gonna I'm not gonna carry on opening the lucky chest. I may keep up with doing my 20 streak per day or whatever streak I do. But you also have to keep always keep an eye on your on the leaderboards. Keep 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 track of what's going on around the world. And just you know, if a person themselves is okay, then everything around them is okay. But as soon as you know, that's what that's what it's all about. Just staying having a positive frame of mind and a frame frame of heart, things will go your way. So if you have darkness in your life Remember, there's always light at the end of the tunnel, but you know, it takes time, but sometimes you have to just change the type of people you have around you to get, keep the positive vibes going. And that's what it's down to, just being positive whenever you can, you know, whenever you can. So, yeah, just so keep smiling, keep shining. I'm just showing you all what, you know, about the guild ship placement, really. That's what I really wanted to show you. So you can have a look at how my guild ship is placed. I'm not saying it's the best, but there are people that have it better than me. And then position whatever's behind it in such a way that they can reach the walls in a way, you know? So that you can keep people and things away. And especially these uh, the mystic ones, they they do knock some of the troops out for a while. But using your storages, they can help to hold the corner parts of your bases in case from sniper sniper fire from, from Sadie, she always gets through anyway. And all they try to do is they try to take out your A triple R. So sometimes it's better to protect the A triple R best you can. But always have another one close by somewhere. And always try to place your shark traps in such a way where as their troops are coming through, a lot of times their bombers die first and their sky readers. And then these traps can take out a lot of those skellies. You know, so always place them in, in places where it may suit you better. And sometimes keeping your uh, long range and short range in check as well, just to make sure. Sometimes when you change between bases, 
the long range stays long on the other base even if you put short range on the first when you change it over it's not just make sure your ranges are correct so work on the ranges and you should be fine and yeah wishing you well wherever you may be just make sure you get your gear ships right take your time it took me i'll be honest with you uh it took me years uh, i never had it correct every time someone would attack me they would just go right straight through the walls and straight inside my base and when a few people started to realize and recognize that what my weakness was they would just expose it to other guild members and and i would be getting attacked all the time from the same area so there's weaknesses on all sides of your base really and it all depends on the deployment and the ability timing of the person attacking you so just work on that you should be fine just keep practicing every troop every troop has its own uh, ability every troop has its own uh under, there's there's an understanding be, behind each of their abilities the the abilities between i like a mix of brutes I like a mixture of brutes and, and juggernauts. So I always put three three brutes. I put two juggernauts. Because what happens is when you use the brutes ability, the gun tower has three guns on it. So the brutes take the fire. So when I use the ability from... Say like I use the ability from the juggernauts. It actually weakens... It weakens the juggernaut whilst the, the juggernaut is attacking. So if you have a look at... The, the abilities that the juggernaut has you'll find that there's there's some some abilities like the specials super strike special ability attack increase 100 percent damage taken increase by 100 percent so if you look like if you look at this ability it shows special ability attack speed is increased by 100 percent so you're you're hitting twice as fast but however damage taken is also increased by 100 percent does that make sense so if you use your your brutes first use their ability because special ability draw the attention of enemy defenses and soak up everything they have to offer so you're taking on a lot of hits with the brute so use the brutes ability first and then use all right bullet spine damage taken is reduced by 65 percent during bring it on but damage taken is reduced by see so as you keep keep upgrading and training your troops the abilities increase and they get better and better, but some abilities that you use may decrease the the damage. Well, they may increase the damage that can be done to your troop. So be very careful. Read each of those ability uh, information points and try to understand each ability as you use them. So this is all about timing. So, and when you do use, there was one thing that I remembered to, that I needed to tell you guys that the priestess is that you have. On your guild ship, you use them in a way where you're trying to snipe at the person. So you send in one or two, and you send them from a different direction. You snipe at them at certain points where you want to take out their 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 defenses. So the guild ship priestesses use them to snipe out certain points that you want to try to just take down that are damaging, that are attacking your main main troops. And you can use the witch doctor to revive. Uh, that's like it's independent compared to your uh, main ship troops because they have to still uh, they have a cooldown timing which then you have to run round the clock like the, the icon for it to charge back up again so I guess if they had the ability where uh, Medoki was to apply where you can spam the button to increase the speed of the icon going up quicker you know maybe that could just change some of the dynamics and, and make it more enjoyable for the players to keep spamming keep spamming you know, because then you have a bit more control within your own fingertips and hands. So yeah, this video is all about the guild ship placement, really. And uh, you all can do much better. Just keep making small adjustments, but don't make big adjustments that you spoil your whole island. Anyway, wishing you all well wherever you may be.